Assalamu alaikum. I am Munafir Shafi, senior O-level Islamia teacher. Today's quick revision topic is persecution, a very helpful, a very important topic in paper 1. These quick revision topics are very helpful. They save you a lot of time. They help you revise your topics before your tests, before your quizzes, before your exams and before your final exams. So take full advantage of these topics and subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Thank you. This is a marking scheme of the topic. The question which appeared was outline the difficulties the Prophet faced between receiving his first revelation and the boycott of Banu Hashim. This was a 10 mark question. Candidates should write a detailed account of the difficulties faced by the Prophet mainly. While brief mention could be made of the difficulties faced by his companions. Candidates could give a brief description of the Prophet beginning to preach openly after years of secret worship, after he announced his faith to the Quraysh on Mount Safa. They rejected his call to Islam and consequently went on to mock and torture the Prophet. He was called a madman or possessed by jinns. 15, 6, 68, 51. Abu Lahab forced his two sons to divorce the Prophet's daughters Rukaya and Ume Kulsum. They laughed and mocked him after his son's death, called him Abutar. Abu Jahl had the photos of a she camel placed on the Prophet's back while he was praying at the Kaaba, which was removed by Fatima. His followers were also persecuted, which hurt the Prophet too. The Prophet and his followers were boycotted and were not allowed business dealings or social contact with the Makkans. They stayed in Shev Abi Talib for three years where they had little food or water. The title is in the center. Here is a complete mind map of the topic. Persecution, meaning and types. Persecution is unfair or abusive treatment toward a person or group of people, such as the persecution of someone who is different by calling him or her rude names and making threats. The most common forms are religious persecution, racism and political persecution. Warkab in Nofel had already predicted after the first revelation that Makkans would expel the prophet out of the city. That means they would become his enemy and we can see the same thing happening when he started preaching openly. The Quraysh used all methods of persecution like physical persecution, mental persecution, social persecution and temptation or bribery. The last method does not involve torture. The next paragraph is the introduction. During his early years, the Prophet had to face severe persecution and opposition from the Quraysh. Some examples are worth noting. The next paragraph is about the physical persecution of the Holy Prophet. When the Prophet first called them to Islam at the Mount of Safa, he was ridiculed and made fun of. Once when the Prophet was praying a Quraysh Abu Jahl through the intestines of a camel on his back, while he was prostrating, Fatima removed the dirt from his neck and washed him. Ume Jamil, the wife of Abu Lahab, used to throw thorny bushes on the path of Prophet. Next paragraph is about the mental persecution. Abu Lahab forced his sons to divorce their wives who were the Prophet's daughters, Hazrat Rukaya and Hazrat Ume Kulsum, just to add to his worries. During the time when there was a gap between the revelations, the Makkans used to mock the Prophet that his God has abandoned him. The Makkans wrote poems to ridicule the Prophet and called him a magician. And they say, indeed he is mad, but it is not, except a reminder to the words. Surah number 68, ayat number 51 and 52. When both the sons of the Holy Prophets passed away in infancy, the Quraysh called him Abtar, he who has no male descendants. 
Surah al qasr describes this situation. The next paragraph is about the social persecution. Prophet's followers were also persecuted, which hurt the Prophet too. The Prophet and his followers were boycotted and were not allowed business dealings or social contact with the Makkans. They stayed in Sheb Abi Talib for three years where they had little food or water. In between such persecutions, Prophet's wife Hazrat Khatija and his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib passed away. This was a huge loss for the Prophet because both of them had been a source of immense support for the Prophet. It was because of this tragic loss that the Prophet called this year the year of grief. The next paragraph is about the temptation which is a form of the persecution. Quraysh also offered the Prophet bribes like making him king or marrying him to the prettiest girl or huge wealth so that he would stop preaching Islam. The Prophet denied all these. The next paragraph is about the Makkans attempt to assassinate the Holy Prophet. The final blow was when the Makkans gathered at Darul Nadwa, their meeting place, and made a plan to assassinate the Holy Prophet so much so that he and his followers were forced to migrate to Medina.